Hello my friends, today I have good news for self-funded students in Germany. If you are planning to study in Germany, I'm telling you it's possible. You study in a free university and you pay your living cost by yourself. And at the end of your program, you go back home with some money to start new life back home. It's possible and many students are doing it now. There are many private self-funded students who are living in Germany by themselves. So you too, you can do it. I'm gonna give some tips how you can manage your budget and at the end, I will tell you how you can fund yourself. Before we start, I have a question. At the end of the video, I will give the answer. The question is this, which is the oldest university in this world which still functional? The oldest university which still open doors for students. You can choose between those three universities. At the end, I give you the correct one. Let's go. I'm gonna give you some tips that will help you to manage your budget and you live in German as affordable as possible. Possible. At the end of this video, I give you also some tip that can help you to fund yourself. To get money, you fund yourself. You pay all your expenses by yourself. And when you go home, you don't go home with empty pockets. So watch this video till the end. I'm giving also my own experience. I have lived in German as a student, so I know student life my experience can just help you to have a decision many students they are living in germany by themselves so you too if you think about this you can make it there are a few things i'm gonna show you that you have to consider before you take a decision where and how to study in german as international self-funded students if you don't have a big budget just take care of those few things I'm gonna tell you and your life in German will be easier and you will not be spending a lot. The first one, go for small cities than big cities. The reason is big cities are super expensive. If you don't have big budget, go for small ones. Let's take example. In a big city, accommodation, if you are not living in university hostel, accommodation is so expensive and very hard to get. In a small one, it's opposite. If your university is not giving you a semester ticket, to get a ticket in a big city per month is so expensive. So those are things you have to consider. First of all, when you are choosing which universities as a self-funded student, look how is the the living cost in that city. University website can give you an orientation. My second advice for international self-funded student, just go for university hostel. Make sure you apply your admission on time and you finish everything on time so that you, you request university hostel on time because those are so competitive and the many universities give a priority to scholarship students so you have to apply on time. The reason is this, university hostels are so cheap compared to private ones. Many times everything is included. Outside, sometimes depending on which city is so expensive. Let me give you an example. For my case, I got accommodation in university. I was paying 200 euro per month and everything was included. Electricity, water, washing machine, everything. So I don't have to pay anything else. And my colleagues who are living outside, they are paying 400, even sometimes go to 500 euros per month. So if you don't have a big budget, first of all, try your best to get university hostel. My third advice, look for universities that give semester ticket. Semester tickets you pay to the university, what they call semester contribution. They give you a ticket for whole semester and you can use it for six months. For my case, I was paying 120 as semester fee contribution and I get a semester ticket for six months. Someone in the same city who was buying that privately was paying almost 100 per month. So in six months, it's almost 
five times what I was supposed to be paying if I was not getting some semester ticket from university. So as self-funded student, that's something that can help you to decrease your expenses. Number four. Number four it sounds funny, but it's a reality. If you don't have a big budget, I advise you plan cooking than buying food in a restaurant. Restaurants are super expensive. And once you are cooking by yourself, it's cheap. It's also more health. Go for a restaurant. By occasion, you want to taste German food, but not depending on restaurants every time the last one let me talk about insurance costs insurance may be expensive depend on which company my advice is that you search for affordable companies there are some companies which are super expensive and the one which cover important things and they are not expensive search for information before you take a decision of which insurance company you gonna take that first part was some tips how you can manage your budget and you spend less let's see how you can fund yourself while you are a student there are some universities which has some partial scholarships or university scholarships so when you are applying ask if there is any financial aid in the university it will help you the second which is the most common and reliable is student job i say student job you are allowed to work 20 hours per week is it easy to get a student job that's the first question i say it's easy there are many companies that are looking for students hiring part-time students how much can a student get per month this of course will depend on your availability but if you are self-funded student and you don't have other fund of course you have to find out how to be available as much as possible per month a working student can get between 400 to 600 euro depending on how available you are that amount per month can cover all basic expenses if you have a cheap accommodation especially in university that amount will be enough to cover or your monthly expenses of course first month it's very hard because having some administration issues but once they are done you can get a job another tip which is very important for international students especially the one with small or not enough budget there is something you can do in many universities if like you're gonna do your masters and you find you will not have time for job you can ask to do your masters in three years instead of two years get enough time to get some for student jobs so that you can get enough money that can cover all your basic needs that's something that is possible another important thing is during summer holiday it's possible that a student can work full time two and a half or three months depend you can be working full time and as a student no tax you make sure you pass all your courses you will not be repeating exams during summer summer will be time for work that will make your second year more easier because you have enough money to secure your visa and also for your basic needs for the second year it will be easy another important thing which is special for german is once you finish your studies in german as a national student you can get a visa to stay for one year and eight months so that time can just get some money that will help you to start new life going back in your country okay for my conclusion it's easy that a self-funded student can can live easily in germany you don't need to always asking money from home you can just manage yourself it's a matter of having enough information the second and being more organized so it's easy more than in any country for someone who is planning to be a self 
funded student just go for it i'm sure you will make it the answer to the question is this one the oldest university is this one